y'all, Shay here. Welcome to this week's uh, Whip and Chat. W-I-P, it stands for Work in Progress. And go ahead and pull out, you know, something craft related or if you're driving or errands, whatever you wanna do. Um, I just like these videos to be, you know, about an hour and I like for us to just use it to catch up. Uh, we'll talk about some stuff, some diamond painting related stuff, uh, channel news, and also just some stuff that's been going on with me in the last uh, two weeks because I was on vacation last week, so I did not do a whip and chat. It was my first time to take a week off and it was, it was nice. Um, so before we get started, I just wanna ask you guys, how are you? And I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for being here and spending your time with me. Um, I will zoom in in a few minutes when we start diamond painting, but for now, I just wanted you to be able to see um, what I'm gonna be working on. Let me just sit up, okay. So she is upside down and I do have this last row left. I did turn her upside down, started working on this row and then I wanted to save her face for last, well, her eyes at least in this part of her hat. So I'm doing this row and then I've got two more left. And I did start this, let me show you what the entire image looks like. I'll hold it up for y'all to see. This is my little log book that I use. So it's Gracie the Gardener and it is from Craftably and it's a square and I started this on May 1st but being out of town for a week I didn't get a chance to finish it. It is from Sheena Pike. It is licensed artwork and it's an 18 by 24 in inches so it's a great size. It has uh, 59 colors so it's been, a, it's been a joy to work on. I love the ABs. There's lots of yellows and greens and pinks and these, this light coral color. Uh, yes, so I'm loving this painting. Um, today is Wednesday for me slash Thursday for y'all. I do film these the day before. And for me, it is June 1st, okay? So I wanted to show y'all my dessert cup for June. I always like to have these completed by the first of that month. So then that I will normally work on them the last week of the month before. And that way I'll have them ready. Jasper. Sorry, Jasper's with me in my craft room, one of my Boston Terriers, and he's got a ball and he's acting crazy. So I may have to pause and let him out. Okay, he just laid down in the dog bed. So um, I brought this with me. I started on it before we went to Hawaii and then I took it with me. So this painting's been all around the place, all over the world, uh, it feels like. Um, and I had it in my backpack, rolled up, and it really got squished, but it had held up and it's flattened out. I see a, a few creases. Um, this is from FG Normal, and I'll have it linked in the description, and it is a dessert cup, and I have one for every month. I started working on these in February, so I have February, March, April, May, and now June, so I've been sticking with it. Um, I frame them. I've got a frame up on top of one of my cabinets in my craft room, and I just swap them out. I do have to trim off about two or three of the, the rows all the way around. It's just the white, not that big a deal. But in order for, I wanted it to get a smaller frame so you could just really see more of this inside, inside this picture, you know. It says June, summer, love the colors. And of course it's, you know, pride month. So I thought this was perfect for this. And it's got the rainbow here. I did realize while doing this, I do not have a rainbow pen. So I might have to get one at some point, y'all. Um, but yes, just finished this a couple days ago. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in my frame and have June's up for the month of June, okay? All right, let me go ahead and zoom this in. I am using my Elizabeth Ward storage containers, so I'll show you all those before I zoom in. All right, let me zoom us in and we will get started. Yeah, y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, so again, this is from Craftably. Love this painting. I am a Craftably affiliate. So um, I'll have a code in the description if you're interested. If you're a new customer, you get 20% off if you use my code. And I do earn a small commission. And if you're a returning customer, I have a link. And if you use my link, um, it, it does support the channel and I do get a small commission. So thank you all uh, for that. Don't have to use it, but it's much, much, much appreciated. So again, here's a canvas. And then my pen is from Enablers Outpost. Look at this fun pen. I do have stainless steel tips. I've got the multi-placer and it's got Randa's Crafty Corner putty in there. And then I have the stainless steel single tip with micro glue dots. And then my tray is a fairly new tray that I got. Um, her shop is unfortunately on, on vacation right now, but it, she does have an Etsy shop. This is from Butterfly Resin Gems. She's having surgery, so she had to close her shop for a little bit 
but um, this is this is a resin tray and she can add images and anything inside of it. So she asked me what my favorite colors were and uh, you've got some gold flecks in here. It's just beautiful. And the, the drills you'll see, they line up so nice, just perfect. So I'm loving this tray. And this is from Alyssa at Butterfly Resin Gems. Here's a cover minder from Saban. She does have an Etsy shop and I'll have it listed down below. If you're not familiar with what a cover minder is, it just holds back your plastic or it just keeps you company while you're diamond painting. You can put one magnet underneath your painting and put the other one on top and they meet. And then I also have this other butterfly from her shop. She's got beautiful, absolutely just gorgeous cover minders. So definitely go check her out. I hope everybody's doing good out there. I missed you guys. It was weird not having any videos out last week, um, but at the same time it was, oh y'all, look how these line up. I just gotta show you, look at these drills lining up in this tray. Is that not beautiful? That one's bugging me though. That one's not lining up. Come on, buddy. Yeah, look at that. They line up so nice and they slide out really nice too. Yes, so I did miss you guys very much. Um, uh, let's start off with where we left off um, from my last whip and chat. So week, week before last, um, I'm shaking a little bit. Y'all have some news to share with you. Um, so I told you in my last whip and chat, I almost needed to rewatch it, but I didn't. But from what I remember, the last time we talked, I had mentioned to you guys that um, it, I had just gone to the OBGYN, to the gynecologist, to have my annual, and he saw something on there. So I had to go back in and do a biopsy, and I was just waiting on the results. They called me the day before we went on vacation. It was scary because the nurse called me, and I expected just to get the results over the phone. And she said the doctor would like for me to come in, and he wanted to see me and talk to me about my results. So I had a feeling that that wasn't good news. And so I, um, I was scared, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Very, very scared. Um, so I walked in and he um, comes in the room and he sits down next to me and he rolls over on his little chair and he's like, so, I did find something on your biopsy that's concerning. And we have a couple of different options. I'm like, okay. And he was very calm and he said, I do see some cancerous cells and tissues on your cervix. And I already kind of was expecting that news being that, you know, they wanted me to come in um, I decided to go by myself. My husband was working. I didn't want to scare him and bother him, but I, you know, he did know what was going on. So, um, my options are to have a hysterectomy and have my cervix and my uterus removed and get rid of that. And hopefully, you know, keep our fingers crossed that that does the trick. Um, I'm very, very positive about everything. I will tell you that right now. I'm fine. I am fine. Um, at the same time, I rushed off to Hawaii, you know, the next day and I didn't really have time to process it. I didn't have time to think about it, which was probably a good thing because we were, you know, on vacation. Um, I'm now kind of thinking about it more. And he said we could do one of two things. We could do the hysterectomy um, because, you know, I am 47 and I am finished having kids. And that, or he said they could do a procedure to where it's like a cone and they scrape and they try to remove what they can and hopefully they get it all. And I was like, no, I want to get rid of it. I don't need it anymore. I don't want any, I, I want to get rid of it. If there's anything questionable that you're seeing, let's just do that. And he goes, okay, that's what, that's my recommendation. So, um, I left his office and uh, of course, you know, before I left, my husband's like, I said, I'll call you after I find out what's going on. He's like, no, just come straight home. Don't call me, just come home. So um, I called my parents. I told them what was going on. I kind of had scared them before my call because I did not tell my mom and dad that, the heat, that I was called back for a biopsy. I didn't want to worry them and I was just waiting to get the results. But once I got the results, I needed to kind of let them know, you know, what was going on. Um, Actually, I called them and told them what was going on on my way to the doctor's office. And they were like, probably just a wreck during that time, that, you know, 30 minutes before I could call them back and let them know what was going on. 
Um, so this is like a little public service announcement, if you will. Um, go get your pap smears, go get checked out. Don't skip those doctor's appointments because my doctor said if, because y'all, I, and for those of you that may have not watched the last one, it had been since 2019 since I'd had my last annual with my doctor. So I had put it off because of, you know, what was going on in the world. And I'm glad I decided to finally go in because he said if I would have waited another year um, or around that time frame, hard to say, but he said um, it would have been really bad. But I am happy that at the prospect of let's just get rid of it and hopefully that'll be it, right? It'll be over, pull everything out, and that way we've gotten rid of it all. Um, the surgery is scheduled for um, July 7th, I believe. It was the very first one that he had available. He wanted to get me in sooner, but he was booked up. Um, I am on the list, so if they have any cancellations, they will call me. I have my um, pre-op appointment with my doctor on uh, June 27th, so in a few weeks, I'll have my appointment with him and we will go from there. All right. Um, so yes, it's not all doom and gloom. It's okay. Um, like I said, I'm, I, I almost had a, like a sense of relief once I just knew what it was and I had an answer of what was going on and I'm not scared. I just feel like, you know, what will be, will be, and things will, you know, be okay. They always are. So, and you know what? I'll just, you gotta deal with whatever comes your way and your attitude really has a lot to do with the outcome and kind of how things just, you know, how they, you know, kind of how everything goes is, is in my opinion. It really can, you know, help the outcome. So, um, yeah, it was just kind of crazy timing to get that news right before we were going on vacation. I was a little worried because I thought, what if I get some really bad news and here we are about to hop on a plane for eight hours and go to Hawaii and I'm like, oh, but it actually was ideal timing because like I said, it was a great escape. I didn't really think about it. Not much at all, actually. Um, the only thing I really worried about was what we were eating next, putting the sunscreen on and you know, yeah, beach or pool. It was it was actually really nice. It was a nice getaway. It was a nice escape. And for those of you that have, you know, already, you know, y'all have just y'all are the best. So supportive, and it really does mean a lot to me. All your comments and all the, you know, I've been, you know, I share everything with y'all on here. It's my life and good, bad, you know, all the things in between. Y'all are always there for me, and I hope I can do the same for you. So if you ever need anything, please let me know, okay? Um, so yeah, yep, I'm gonna get rid of it, get it out of there, hopefully that does the trick, so. All right, y'all, so that's that news. I just didn't know how to say it, it was hard to even talk about. Um, again, I haven't really had to talk about it in over a week. Um, so yeah, I did tell the kids they don't really understand what that means or what it is, but you know, I told them I'm gonna have surgery. I didn't tell them the cancer part. I didn't wanna scare them. You know, that's a scary word and I didn't want them to worry. I just said, you know, they found some stuff and we gotta get rid of it, so. Um, okay, so that's kind of what's been going on here, medical stuff wise. Um, channel news, That's I meant to talk about this before we started. Um, when I showed y'all the June uh, dessert cup, I wanted to say that, you know, today is June 1st for me. And I just wanted to mention that I do have a Patreon. And if you're not familiar with the Patreon, it's, um, it's like a subscription. It's a monthly subscription. And it's where you get behind the scenes uh, content. I take y'all with me uh, during the week, show you what I'm up to. I did vlog when I was in Hawaii and my Patreon's got to see that already. I did it the day I got back. Um, so yeah, it, it really does help the channel and in all honesty, um, you know, my Patreon memberships, um, actually support my channel more than YouTube does. It's very, very important to me. Uh, we do have monthly zooms. We had our monthly zoom last night. We do at the end of the month, the last Monday of the month, and they're always really fun. And yeah, I've got a good group of people on there and I'd love to have you guys. So if you're interested, uh, the link is down below. 
And if that's not a commitment that you want to make or that you can't make, I totally understand. There's no pressure. I just, they bill you. And the reason why I'm mentioning it now on the first is because they bill you the first of every month, depending on, no, it doesn't matter when you sign up. And, uh, and if you do sign up, you get all the, um, old content that I've posted. You have access to all that. So, and if it's, again, if it's not something that you can do, totally understand. Um, and if you just want to do like a one-time, uh, tip type of thing that helps the channel, then, um, I do have Ko-Fi. It's either Ko-Fi or Ko-Fi. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced both ways, but it's just, and I have, I have that link below too. It's kind of like buy me a, buy me a coffee, which is what we used to have, but, uh, they stopped accepting PayPal. So a lot of creators stopped using it. Um, but yeah, Ko-Fi is good. All right. What other channel news? I did um, get some boxes while I was on vacation. I got three diamond paintings, y'all. I did unbox one of them, my one of my diamond art clubs. Um, I unboxed it yesterday, so y'all go check that out if you haven't seen it. That's the Wizard, of, the Wizard of Oz one. It's called A Long Journey Home. I'm a huge Wizard of Oz nut. I love it. I'm obsessed. I love the Wizard of Oz. So as soon as I saw that one, I was like, oh, okay, done deal. Yep. I just wish it would have been around because I know they're coming out with little squares right now because they're, you know, improving their rounds. So we just have to be patient. They're coming. And they are still coming out with a few, but it's mainly been, you know, um, squares lately. And I like both. I'll do both. But, you know, squares take a little more time. And I like that sense of accomplishment. And I want to get to more painting. So... Sometimes I just want to do a round. So after this one, I'm going to do a round. I don't know what I'm going to do, but um, yeah, so unboxing. So I've got that one that I did, and then um, I've got a Dreamer Designs one. And if y'all know me, you know what I probably got. Uh, it's my very, very first Curtis Reykjavich. I have been, you know, checking his out for, you know, all this time that he's been coming out with these. And I was like, mm, I don't know if he's my style. I'm waiting for the right one to speak to me. And it did. They came out with one. So I almost bought the mermaid one that he came out with um, that Dreamer Designs released about um, a month or so ago, maybe less. And it was the mermaid and she had the orca or the whale kind of in her hair and I just didn't really get it. And I was like, mm, I'm gonna wait, I'm not feeling this one. And then he, they came out with another one. And I was like, okay, so I have that one to unbox. And then I also got the day we left on vacation, Diamond Art Club, that Saturday, released another one that I had to get. So y'all, I've been really, really good lately. Um, I don't have a very big stash. I say that, but it is getting bigger as time goes on, but I'm pretty selective because I don't want my stash to get big. I've got this fear of like having too many and feeling overwhelmed. I think that's what it is, but I'm kind of, I don't buy a ton of paintings. I don't feel like I do. Um, when I first started the channel, I kind of felt like I had to order a lot to have content that's gone away and I'm glad I don't feel like I have to order, you know, every single painting, you know, there's a lot of creators out there. We're all showing different ones. So there's plenty of us to go around and plenty of to share, but, um, yeah, I've been pretty good. I was pretty good lately, like before recently. And then all of a sudden they all started coming out with ones and I was like, okay, I just, I couldn't resist. So yeah, I've got some unboxings going on. Um, I have been thinking about doing a shopping with Shay. If y'all have been, you know, subscribed to the channel for a little bit, you may remember those. It's a segment that I would do, you know, every few weeks, I think I was doing it. It's like shopping with Shay, and I would take y'all to stores and we'd go in the stores together and I would kind of just vlog. It's kind of what I do for my Patreons, but, um, I haven't done one in a while. I don't know why I just, maybe because I was doing Patreon stuff. I'm not sure, but I have an idea of where I want to take y'all. Um, I don't know if I should tell you or if it should be a surprise. I think I'm going to leave it as a surprise. Um, I think a lot of you will enjoy it. It'll be something different. It's not a craft store. It's actually not. Well, it is a store, but it's something kind of cool, something different. They have them in Texas. That's the only clue I'm going to give y'all. And it's kind of a cool deal. It's like a cool novelty Texas thing. So I think y'all would get a kick out of it. Um, it's not real close. That's probably why I haven't done it yet, but I've been wanting to do it for a while. But now that summer's out, you know, if kids are out of school, I'll probably take Lou with me and we'll just make a, you know, half a day of it and just drive over there. And cause it's about, mm, I don't know, about 45 minutes away or so, like an hour away. So yeah, but I think it'll be worth it. 
it's 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 a trip for sure it's so texas y'all so texas y'all listen to me and y'all i'm from california i don't know where these y'alls come from this texas accent i mean i had been here since i was nine so i guess it's bound to to happen but i remember um when i first moved here i'm like i'm never gonna say y'all mm. yeah that that happened after so many years so y'all i'm gonna show you what i use tweezers for in case y'all are wondering if you're new so when I was shaking my tray, a couple jumped out, and so they're kind of stuck to the glue. So I'm just gonna pick them off with the tweezers. I just kind of noticed that there was a few kind of just laying over there in the wrong spot. Tweezers really come in handy. They really do. I even use tweezers for like splinters, you know, got something under my nail, it's bugging me. I'll just use my tweezers. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. Should we talk about vacation? Should we talk about Hawaii? Let's do it. Let's talk about some fun stuff. I did take notes. I took notes on the plane, on the plane ride home. I had my iPad and I just went into notes. And it's the only notes I took for this week. I normally take handwritten notes of what's going on that week, but I really haven't done that. I just kind of wrote it in my notes on my iPad and just kind of jotted down what we did every day and what it was like. Um, looking at my notes, there's just kind of like, you know, cliff, you know, what's it, cliff note versions, just of short, you know, what we did, what we ate, what we did each day. Um, but I did not want to sugarcoat it. And I don't want this to be like, I'm sorry, I'm not a big Facebook fan because I feel like Facebook is fake. Sorry for those of you that, that like Facebook, but I'm not a huge fan because it's like, it's, it's like a movie, right? Of what they want you to see. And I didn't want you all to think that Hawaii was like, oh, rainbows and palm trees and you know. No, it was beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty, but was it rainbows and unicorns and all that the whole time? No. I mean, I have three kids. We're in a hotel together. We're on a plane for eight hours getting there. It, 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 was, it was rough. There were some rough parts. There were some tears. Um, but it was, it was good to get away. Uh, the kids really enjoyed it. I know everybody was kind of ready to come home. There's nothing like being home, right? There just isn't. I mean, it is nice to get away. Um, it's nice to get out of the house and, you know, see, see things, but... We were all kind of ready. So let's see, let me grab my notes and just kind of give you all a little rundown of what we did. So we left um, Saturday, We our flight was at uh, 4 a.m., or sorry, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Now we did fly, we had a layover. We flew into LAX, so we flew into California. So that flight from Texas to California was about two and a half, three hours. And that was the first leg. And then we had a layover in LAX and that layover was pretty quick. It was only an hour. So we had just enough time to get to the new gate, you know, do all that good stuff. Now we did not check bags. We don't like to check bags because we don't like waiting for our bags at baggage claim after you get off the plane. So y'all, I'm proud of us. We went to Hawaii for a week and had all carry on. Yeah, we did good. The only thing I couldn't bring was like sunscreen because, you know, it was too big of a bottle and you can't bring, you know, liquids that size. So I would just bought it. They had CVSs and Walgreens and, you know, all the things there. So, um, and everything else was like trial size. So, and you know, for a vacation like that, you're bringing, you know, it's bathing suits and shorts and flip flops. It's not like jackets and, you know, a lot of bulky stuff. So yeah. Um, plus our room did have a, um, washer. So I was able to do um, a load of laundry midway through. So that was really helpful. Uh, but the bad thing is, um, so once we left LAX, it was five hours to Hawaii. It was rough, y'all, so rough. Uh, the boys always sit together, like in front of us or behind us in a separate row, because there's five of us, we can't all fit in one row. Uh, the boys always sit together and then Lou always sits between my husband and I. My husband always needs the, um, the uh, window and we always do bulkhead because he's a he's tall. He's a big guy, so he needs a leg room. So um, there were no screens on the plane. So there, you know. But if you had the American Airlines app download on your device, you were able to watch movies um, through the, the through the um, app. So um, and of course we downloaded some stuff on our iPads before we left, just in case you know there were no screens and no entertainment on the flight. But um, what was hard about it is we got into Hawaii at like 2.30 in the morning, our time. There's a five hour time difference. We're still kind of getting adjusted. It's getting better every day, but it's gonna take about a week, I think, to really get back to our, to Texas time. 
Um, we got in about, like I said, 2.30 a.m. our time. By the time we got the rental car, um, grabbed something to eat, and got to the room and got situated, it was four o'clock in the morning our time. So y'all, everybody was melting. Lou was having, and she's nine, you know, so I, I get it. She's tired, it was a long day. Um, you know, a lot of excitement around it and just, yeah, it's four o'clock in the morning. We were standing there at the hotel waiting to check in and she wouldn't sit down because she was so tired of sitting. She just wanted to go to bed. And she's standing there with her little, you know, Mickey suitcase. And she's like, I just want to go to bed. And she just kept saying, how much longer? She was, y'all, she was just like falling apart. It was, she was, it was bad. Um, so we made that, got into the room, got all situated. Everybody just conked out. Sometimes there's fights about who's going to sleep where. Nope. Everybody just went to bed. Everybody was super tired. So um, the thing is, we, we decided to try to stay on Texas time while we were there. We're like, we'll just wake up early. We'll beat the rush for like breakfast and you know all that good stuff. But after like three or four days, we got on Hawaii time. Oh, Jasper just snorted. He's, he's, he's sleeping. So yes, we did get on Hawaii time eventually. And now, right before we came back. So that was Saturday. Um, Sunday, we didn't have any plans because we knew we had just gotten in, you know, so late, you know, that the night before or that morning. So we thought, let's just, you know, not have anything planned and just kind of relax. So that day we did the pool and the beach, the, the hotel. Um, and I don't know if y'all remember me mentioning this before, but it was a Disney, um, hotel. We're huge Disney fans and it was Alani and it's the Disney resort that uh, they have out in Hawaii. Um, it wasn't real Disney-ish, you didn't see Mickey's. They did have characters um, on the property, so you would see the characters sometimes, but uh, they had a lazy river around the entire hotel. It was so fun, it was long too. So they had a lazy river, and then they had two slides. So that day we just spent the day um, pool and beach, pool and beach, pool and beach. We'd get, go to the beach for a little bit, and I will tell you what, Lou is a, she's a fish, y'all. It's really her, we took her to the beach when she was younger, but she doesn't really remember it because that's when we lived in California. But now she's old enough to know the beach and she loved it. She never wanted to leave. I mean, any chance she could get to go to the beach, she wanted to be there. Um, she absolutely loved the beach. Um, the water was cold at first, like when you first got in, but then you got used to it. I don't know the temperature because it was the ocean, but it was nice. Um, let's see. So we just did pool and beach and down from the hotel, the beach is right there. So you just kind of walk up and down some stairs. So we kind of had find, you know, would find a spot. Uh, they did have shaved ice at the hotel and you could get Mickey ears. So we all, um, the kids got one every day. I tried one once and it was okay. Um, I think it was a little too sweet because I got a scoop of ice cream at the bottom. That was an option you could do. You could even get two scoops of ice cream, which made it really, really sweet. But, um, so we did the shaved ice, just did the pool, did the slides. One of the slides you could, um, you had to go down in an inner tube. It was really fun. You could do a single tube or a double tube. So Lou and I would go down together. The boys were going down. It was really fun. So we just did that that day. We had uh, poke bowls, like, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with poke, but it's like, you can do like, you know, rice at the bottom and it's got sushi and, you know, vegetables and all kinds of good stuff. So we had that. Um, definitely tried a lot of Hawaiian food. I really tried to branch out a little bit and try some of the local stuff. Um, so Monday, we did Pearl Harbor. Uh, we toured the USS Missouri, uh, which is a battleship, and that was cool. Um, the kids really enjoyed it. The boys probably enjoyed it more than Lou did. You know, it's a battleship, and the boys were, like, totally into it, and they like history. Uh, but we toured the the ship, um, got a little claustrophobic. Um, yeah, there was times where I'm like, okay, are we done with this level? I need to step and we need, I need to go back on the, I need to go outside cause it's closed. I mean, they show like where they sleep and y'all it's so tight. I can't imagine being on a ship like that with all those people. And it's pretty cool. They showed like their sleeping quarters, the kitchen, like you, all, you have to tour the entire ship. So yeah, we did that. And then after that, we were gonna do um, the Arizona, but uh, it was so busy and so crowded over there. We skipped that part because we spent a lot of time on the battleship. And then we went to the um, the boys and my husband went to us. They went and toured a submarine. 
Lou was kind of getting tired at that point, so we kind of sat that one out and got a snack. Uh, but they did the submarine. They said they really enjoyed it. And plus, like I said, I don't like tight spots and I get claustrophobic. So I was kind of out on the submarine stuff. And Lou, of course, wanted to stay with me. So they did that. And then after that, we took the shuttle over to the um, aviation museum and saw a bunch of planes. And there was a tour guide that was awesome. He gave us some really cool um, history and it's just amazing. Um, the only kind of sad part about, you know, that day is, you know, everything that happened that day with Pearl Harbor, you know, it's, it's awful, uh, but it scared Lou a little bit, you know, hearing all the stories about the war and the fighting and, the, you know, all the things. So the next couple of days we'd be at the beach and if she saw an airplane or anything in the sky, she would ask, are we okay? Is that, is it a war? And I'm like, no, 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 no. It, you're okay. You're fine. So it kind of spooked her out a little bit. So I felt bad for that. I said, we're okay. That was a long time ago. We're fine. You know, cause there's naval base near there and you know, military bases everywhere. So they've got planes and you know, all the things going on. So she got a little, little, little scared, but, um, so that was Monday. Let's see, Aviation Museum, Pearl Harbor, we did the USS Missouri. Um, so then after that, we um, we went to a really cool um, Mexican restaurant that my husband had found on Yelp. It was like a little hole in the wall. It was really good. And I got a little hat from the cafe. It's called Barrio Cafe and it had like street tacos. So we ate that. And then, um, so that was Monday. Tuesday, we did the pool and beach again. And then we decided to do the Dole, the Dole Pineapple, the Dole Plantation Tour. So we did that. We did a lot of tourist stuff. Um, they had a little train called the Pineapple Express, which we all laughed about afterwards and my husband actually fell asleep on. Uh, we were calling it the Pineapple Depress. It was very, <laughs> it was very, very slow. You just saw pineapples after pineapples after pineapples. And that was pretty much it. Um, yeah. So, but we did that. We, um, they had a gift shop that had everything pineapple imaginable. I mean, we had a Dole Whip, which is, if you're not familiar with that, it's like, um, it's almost like ice cream. Um, I don't know how to describe it, like frozen yogurt type of stuff. And it's very, very sweet. It's all pineapple. So we all had a Dole Whip and, um, Ryan did not come with us that day. He decided to sit out and stay at the hotel by himself. He's, you know, 17. So he just wanted to spend the day kind of chilling out and he laid out by the pool. So we did the pineapple, we did the Dole Plantation and Lou got a plastic pineapple that we had to bring home, like a souvenir cup. We always seem to bring one of those home. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? Um, we did the slides, the lazy river. We snorkeled a little bit. Um, the only thing is we didn't, you saw a few fish, but didn't see a whole lot of fish. So I kind of wish we could have seen a little bit more. Um, the water was clear, but um, it still was like kind of a little murky. I mean, you could see, but you couldn't see very far in front of you, just right in front of you, couldn't really see out. And I'm probably oh, good with that because I don't really want to see a lot of fish swimming around me. You know, we would see fish and we're like, oh, it's kind of weird knowing you're, you know, in the water with fish. I think it's best not to know, not to see what's going on below. And let's see. Uh, the hotel offered free boogie boards. So we definitely took advantage of that. Whenever we were at the beach, we would just kind of rent a boogie board for the day and keep it at our chairs. And you can just kind of go off and Ryan would go all the way out to the, you know, the buoys and kind of, he's like, it's so peaceful out here. And he really enjoyed it. And he was trying to get a tan. Very, very concerned about a tan, which I thought was funny. And he's now peeling because he got sunburned. He's like, am I losing my tan? I'm like, you're good, you're good. Um, okay, so that was Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, we went to um, another place my husband found on Yelp for breakfast. And it was a little pancake house with all local, and there was all local people in there. And I had, they were so good. I had macadamia nut pancakes with coconut syrup. It was delicious. And I had ordered, I was hungry. So I had ordered the large stack instead of the short stack. It was one of those things where like my eyes were bigger than my stomach. Everybody was making fun of me because the stack was, it was like five or six pancakes and they were huge and they delivered it. And everybody's like, what? And everybody else got short stacks, like three, two or three pancakes. I'm like, what was I thinking? My husband's like, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I wasted it. He's like, no, it was only a dollar more for the, the large stack. I'm like, oh, okay, good. Cause I'm not finishing it. But I will tell you, we spent some money on food. Ooh, it's expensive. 
it was expensive there, you know, and to feed five people like three times a day. Yeah. Um, we did have a little kitchenette in our room. So we, um, my husband did go to the store the next morning after we got in and he, um, ran to Target and got some like cereals for and some milk and, you know, some stuff for us. So we weren't going out every single meal. So we did eat a little bit in the room. And of course he had to get a bottle of wine for me, which was on the list and sunscreen and all the things we needed and chips and, you know, just some snacks. So that held us over. And then, um, let's see. So we ate those, nut, those, um, Wednesday, we did the pancakes. And then after we did pancakes, we zip lined. Yes. Uh, my husband was too big to zip line. He was over the weight limit. So unfortunately, but he's, he's afraid of heights. So he's like, I'm good. I wouldn't have done it anyways. So, um, he waited for us. It was an hour long tour and the kids and I went, I was very scared. I didn't think I was going to do it because that's not really my thing, but I figured if my kids are going to do it, I can do it. Let me face my fears. And I'm glad I did it. It was a lot of fun. Well, I, I, I kind of was happy when it was over. So, but it was, it was exciting. The kids were loving it. So I enjoyed, you know, spending time with them. And, um, we were with another family and there was the grandmother and she was like, Lou went before her and she was, the grandma was really scared. And she goes, she saw Lou go and she's like, if she can do it, I can do it. So it helped the grandma see, you know, little Lou, you know, just go. So there was, let's see, like four or five platforms that we did. So you would, you know, um, and we had two tour guides that were really, really nice. And like I said, we were gone for an hour and we were like in the jungle. It was like going through these trees and it was really fun. So we did that. And when we were zip lining, we looked down and they showed us some wild pigs that just had babies, almost like boars. And they were just like walking around and they said they're friendly, but they never came up to us. Uh, whenever we had zip lined down the mountain a little bit, but so we zip lined to different platforms. We'd get off and then do it, do another line. So it wasn't like really one long one. It was like different ones, short ones. Uh, but yeah, we did that, um, on Wednesday and then Thursday. Um, let's see Thursday. We, um, decided to rent paddle boards for the kids. Um, oh, I forgot to mention to you. So get this, whenever we were at the airport heading to Hawaii, Nate, you know, my middle guy, my 15 year old was like, mom, uh, my friend Aiden is gonna be in Hawaii too. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm like, do you know where he's staying or do you know what island? He's like, no. And I'm thinking, okay, well that's okay. We're definitely not gonna see him because he doesn't even know like, you know, where he is, y'all. Nate saw him on the beach. Yeah, they ran into each other at the beach uh, and Nate barely went to the beach. He's not a big sand guy. He doesn't really care for the sand. He doesn't like the way it feels. And he was okay with the pool, but he didn't like the beach really. So he only went down like a couple of times. And the one time he went down, it was on, I think like Monday or Tuesday. Um, and his friend and his parents are sitting like right on the same row from us, just on the other side, but they're staying at the same hotel. And we're walking down to the beach and Nate's like, Aiden. And then I hear a kid say, Nate. And I'm like, what? They, what? No way. And so, um, but the, and he, he's an only child and his mom was super sweet. Talked to her for a while. We swapped numbers and she was like, I'm so happy because, you know, Aiden gets so lonely. He's an only child and I always want someone for him to hang out with. And I'm so happy that he saw Nate, but she's like, but we're leaving to go to Maui for two days, but we'll be back on Thursday. I was like, okay, they'll hang out Thursday. I said, cause we're leaving Friday. She's like, okay. So Thursday, they spent the day together and they had a great time. Um, Aiden rented uh, him and so his mom had rented a paddle board for an hour for Nate and Aiden to share. So they kind of took turns and then Lou and Ryan wanted to do it. And so I rented one for them and they switched off. So yeah, um, I was proud of Lou. She did a really good job. She never fell off. She's got really good balance. She like rode a bike at an early age and you know, she does the skateboards and, you know, all the things, uh, roller blades and roll, roller skates. And so I really wasn't worried. Um, the only thing was I had to kind of stay with her because she really didn't know how to control it and how to steer it. And you, you know, you didn't want to run into people or go too far out. So I was a little nervous um, about, you know, her being out there by herself. So I was kind of on the back of the board, the paddle board kind of kicking with her and kind of like staying with her. So that was a workout. 
Um, and then Ryan would do it. You know, they swapped out a couple times. Uh, Ryan was really good on it. He's done it before. So I'm really glad they got an opportunity to paddleboard. Um, that day, they, um, you know, they hung out all day with his buddy. And um, so they decided to, um, we rented a car and we needed to get it washed because we had gone out one day to a beach, kind of went out driving and we found, uh, we went out on the beach and we got sand all in the car. I mean, it was everywhere. And Lou went in the water because we didn't have our bathing suits on. So she was all wet in the car. So my husband's like, you know, Thursday, he's like, I need to go to the car wash and I'm, you know, maybe why don't we go to lunch? And Nate and his friend Aiden and Lou were like, yeah, but Ryan and I were like, eh, I kind of want to stay here. It's our last day. I kind of just want to chill at the pool. So the, they all went to um, go get the car washed. And Ryan and I got to spend the day together because they were gone for a while, like a good three or four hours. They went to California Pizza Kitchen. It's, they went there. They were going to go to Cheesecake Factory, but I guess they changed their minds once they got out. But they washed the car. They had lunch. They went to Starbucks. They brought Ryan and I back um, iced coffee. But yeah, Ryan and I get to spend um, the afternoon together. And I'll tell you what, y'all, it was so nice. Um, we were in the ocean for a while. We were talking about, you know, college and girls and friends and, you know, all the things. And then we went for a walk to the resort next to us. We kind of walked on the path and went out and looked, you know, on the rocks and the beach. And then we uh, went up and had lunch and ate at the little cafe they have at the hotel. We ate outside. And then we went back to the chairs and we sat. We just were like pool, beach, just hanging out all day long. It was really, really nice. And it was actually a little, it was nice to have a little break from Lou. Not gonna lie. She, you know, she's on the move constantly. And I don't like leaving her, you know, out of my sight because you know, she's only nine and it's just not, I don't know. I just have a fear of losing her. So yeah, we, uh, we got to spend the day together. And then once Lou came back, um, Nate and Aiden were gonna go build the sandcastle. So Lou's like, can I go with them? And y'all, I'd never really, I had not left her, right? But she knew the lay of the land by that point because we'd been there all week. So, and I also, before she went off, I said, okay. I said, but Nate, you gotta watch her, okay? Don't leave her anywhere. He goes, okay. And then she has an Apple watch and she's really good about calling me and telling me like, you know, where she is and, you know, what she's doing, like if she's playing with friends in the neighborhood. So I'm like, Lou, before you go, here's your watch. So I put her watch on and, you know, made sure she was good. Well, I was up in the room and I was packing because we were leaving the next morning. Our flight was like 7.30 in the morning. So I was packing and, you know, kind of getting everything ready. And I decided to take a shower because we're going to be meeting um, Aiden and his family for dinner. So I took a shower and all of a sudden um, I hear a knock on the door and my husband answers the door and it's Lou and she's in tears and y'all she lost Nate or Nate lost her yeah yep but thank God she found her way to the room and I told her I'm like why didn't you call me I'm like did you call me I was in the shower I thought maybe I had missed her call and she's like no my watch is dead so I guess it had fallen off the charger I felt so bad for her um, we sent Nate a text message and we were like, call us immediately. He was in a lot of trouble. Um, you know, I told him, you know, watch Lou. And apparently what had happened was they were doing slides and they went down together, him and his friend, and then Lou was going to go after them. And I guess he said they were waiting, they were waiting, they were waiting for her. And, um, he said they saw her come down but then they said it looked like she was grabbing her shoes and leaving to go to the room. But that's Nate's story. Lou's story is they didn't wait for her and she never saw them. And she was like waiting for them and waiting for them. So somehow they, you know, didn't connect. I was so, I was upset, you know, and I kept trying to calm her down and I was mad at Nate. So that was a little bit of drama the last day. Y'all, oh my gosh, I'm so glad she was, so I don't, you know, I'm glad I was proud of her. I kept telling her how proud I am of her, that she knew where to go. And my husband's like, you know, next time, you know, tell an adult, you know, she knows my phone number. She knew our room number. You know, we had talked about all these things, you know, before. And just in case her and I got separated for some reason. But, oh, that was so scary. So we um, got ready and we met um, Aiden and his parents at the, um, one of the restaurants at the hotel. 
and we had dinner and it was really fun. They're a really nice family. And yeah, we said our goodbyes and we went to the room and the kids downloaded Stranger Things. They love that show on Netflix so they could watch it on the airplane. It had just got released that night, so it was perfect. It gave them something to do on that eight hour flight on the way home. So, can y'all hear Jasper? He is snoring and he is laying on his back with his leg. Oh my gosh, he's hilarious. Um, I'm trying to see how long I've been. Let me get a little sip of water and we'll finish up. Let me make sure I didn't leave anything out. What else? Oh, um, that night at dinner with the parents, I had Hawaiian barbecue chicken and it was good. Yeah, it was really good. Um, but y'all, that flight, oof. My husband was talking about, you know, if we go back again, we'll do this, we'll do that. And I'm like, uh-uh, I, I don't know, y'all. I can't. That plane ride was so rough. Um, I did watch, I watched different things. Lou would watch her iPad for a little bit and then she'd get bored and then she'd want to play. We colored and I was able to dye my paint. Um, I did talk about it. I think I talked about it during my live, but um, y'all, I cannot pick up these ABs with my pen. It is not happy. I'm gonna use tweezers. This can be, this is gonna be fun. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna switch colors and I'll switch my wax after and put some fresh wax in there. And let's see, so I did diamond paint. I didn't diamond paint on the way there because I'm like, oh, I can't, this is gonna be too hard. But because I had been, I did have an opportunity to diamond paint um, a couple times at night or during the day when we were kind of done with the, the pool and the beach and we were just in the room. So I kind of was, you know, in the groove and I wanted to kind of keep going. So I did pull it out on the plane on the way home on the first leg um, to LA. And I felt a little uncomfortable about it. And I've been trying to figure out what that's all about. Y'all tell me in the comments if you kind of feel the same way. I don't know why I, I guess someone's gonna ask questions and I, I'm, I'm kind of an introvert a little bit and I don't really wanna talk about it on the plane. I don't know. I want people staring at me. Um, are people gonna think it's weird? Do they, they're not gonna understand it um, probably. Or maybe some people are familiar with it. But I just, it, I don't know. I even get a little weird when I'm diamond painting and Lou's friends come over that maybe have never been over before. And she might come up and ask me a question and her friends are like, what are you doing? And I don't know, y'all. I'm not ashamed. I just don't think people get it. I know when I saw it for the first time, when mom and dad showed me diamond painting, I was like, I thought it was weird. And I didn't get it. And I guess people are, I'm worried that people are going to have that same reaction because if you don't, if you don't get it, you don't get it. And, you know, we get it, right? So, yes. Um, let's see. So I dime paint on the plane on both times. I got a little done. It, I, I didn't spill any drills. I was a little worried because it was a tight spot, but I was able to get it done. And it's a 40 by 40. So I just kind of had, you know, I had to hold my tray. Um, and, yeah, I, I just kind of did it on the little tray, the little fold-out tray. And it worked, I was able to get, it, it helped pass the time. Cause you know, you just kind of escape a little bit. And so yeah, I did that. Um, so I'm glad I brought it. Some of you were like, bring it, bring it, bring it. And so you, you know, I kind of thought, no, you know, I'll take a break from everything, but I'm really glad I brought it. It, uh, it was a nice piece of home, you know, some familiarity to bring home, to bring with me, to give me something to do and kind of, you know, just relax. So what else y'all? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm so happy to be back. I did do, I know I mentioned the live. So for those of you that may not know, uh, I do go live. I do a live stream every Sunday uh, from four to 5 p.m. So I'd love to have you, please join me. Um, I will, you know, it always, it'll notify you on YouTube. So if you um, click that notification bell, you'll be notified 30 minutes before I go live. And I, like I said, I normally go live every Sunday. I did miss this past Sunday because I, you know, took a week off. Um, I'm a little rusty, feels like doing videos and just kind of when I did that unboxing yesterday, it felt a little strange. So it's weird when you're used to posting like every couple of days and you take like a week off. Um, I did make me feel loved. I did have some people reach out to me and checking in saying, are you okay? I haven't seen you. And I'm like, oh, people noticed I was gone. <laughs> and I, I mentioned it in a whipping chat and maybe on my live before I left, but I didn't do like a, a community post. I didn't really like, you know shout out that I was going to be gone. I didn't think it was that big a deal. Um, but some people were, were missing me and were like, just checking in. So I thought that was really nice. 
Jasper is snoring. Can y'all hear him? I don't know if you can hear him, and if you can, I'm sorry. Jasper, wake up, buddy. Jasper, oh my gosh, I've never heard him snore this loud before, and of course he's doing it now. Yeah, everybody's happy to be home. Lou had a sleepover the very next night after we got home. She was so happy. Her best friend came over, and her best friend spent the night. And we've been, you know, getting, we got up at like noon that, that next morning after getting in. Oh, we got in at about midnight, about 1230. Um, let's see, Friday night. Yeah. And we were off, you know, cause the time out time difference, we slept in the next day till about noon. And then, um, um, you know, everything's been off the last few days. You know, you're having breakfast and coffee at noon. You're not eating lunch until four and you're not having dinner till like nine or 10. It was funny when we got home that first night, I was so happy to be back. You know, I poured my glass of wine. Oh, we stopped at uh, McDonald's and we got, we brought it home. See, so here we are, you know, eating McDonald's at like one o'clock in the morning. And I got my wine after that and I was pulling out my diamond painting and I was in the bedroom and I was watching, I was, I got a little lap desk that I was using and I was just diamond painting and Lou walks in, mom, what are you doing? And I was like, and I looked up and it was two o'clock in the morning. Y'all, it, it felt like, which it was for us. I mean, it was like nine o'clock at night. And I was like, what? I need to go to bed. What am I doing? So the first couple of days that we were in Hawaii, we were waking up at like five in the morning because you know, we were on Texas time, but now we're on Hawaii time. So it kind of messes with you a little bit, the time difference, but yes. Uh, but overall, it was, um, you know, good quality family time, which we all need. We have a tendency to kind of go our separate ways, especially the boys, you know, they're teenagers and they're always on their computers, gaming or at school, or, you know, Ryan works. Um, I'm glad he got to take a, a week off of work. That was nice for him. He did have to be at work at nine o'clock the next morning after we came home Friday night. Yeah. He's like, I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I didn't take Saturday off. I'm like, yeah. So he set his alarm. I set my alarm too, cause I was just gonna make sure he got up. But of course I snoozed it and stopped it and went right back to bed. I was like, nope, I'm not getting up at eight. But he came and said goodbye to me and he got to work on time and he worked Saturday and Sunday. So out of all of us, he's probably the one that's back on schedule um, because he's been working and he's been busy all day and not sleeping in or staying up late. So, but yeah, um, he, then he had off um, Monday because of Memorial Day. So I hope y'all had a good Memorial Day if you celebrated. Um, and I did want to say thank you. I know it's already passed, but thank you to all that's, you know, that have served and, you know, all that have family that have served uh, really does mean a lot. So thank you, especially after everything we saw in Hawaii for Pearl Harbor. It's like, wow, people that fought for our country is, you know, yeah, it's amazing and really, really appreciate it. So yes, thank you. But Memorial Day was good. We, um, Lou and I went to Target, Dollar Tree, Petco, uh, where else? Ulta. We just went all over y'all. Um, I think she was missing like just some retail therapy. We didn't do a lot of shopping in Hawaii. She got one t-shirt it was next to like where we had breakfast. They had a little, um, uh, t-shirt shop. Um, yeah, she got at like CVS or Walgreens. She got her and her friend little um, Hawaiian necklaces, little beaded, you know, Hawaiian necklaces. We never got Lay's, which I kind of thought we were going to get Lay's, but no, no Lay's. Um, the one other thing that Lou did not get to do, she wanted to drink out of a coconut and we never saw any coconut drinks. So yeah, no Lay's, no coconuts. So we went to um, Target yesterday because she wanted to spend some money that she got. Um, from her report card, she got some A's and we pay her for A's. So she's like, I got $40, I wanna go. So we went and she is so funny. Y'all, she's nine and I'm 47 and she's introducing me to all kinds of things that I have never tried. She likes creams, face, face creams, body scrubs, oils, serums. I don't even know what any of this stuff is. I don't, I don't do any of that. I probably should, but I don't, I don't do, I don't do any of that. I don't take care of my skin. So um, I'm loving it though. There's this watermelon scrub. It's so nice. I've been using that to exfoliate. Um, this morning we woke up and she's been doing, she gave, she did my skin. She put all like six or seven different layers of, I don't know what she put on my skin, but it was soft. So yeah, she's getting, you know, her and her friend are getting into all that. When they did a sleepover, they were like, 
let's wash our face and put, you know, do our face stuff. And yeah, I'm like, okay. But she's living her best life now. She's glad to be home. She's actually at her best friend's house right now swimming. So they're having a good summer. They are having a great summer. Yep, I went to Wingstop today and got everybody some wings and some fries because it sounded good. We had Taco Bell yesterday. Um, yeah, so I did go to Costco. My husband and I went to Costco on Sunday because we had no food. So we loaded up on groceries and waters and all the things. Um, so at least we've been cooking dinner, but it's just been lunches. Everybody's like, oh, let's keep eating out like we were doing on vacation. So we have to get kind of out of that groove. Um, after going out with Lou yesterday, doing some retail shopping, she called it a shopping spree. I'm like, yeah, it kind of felt like that. Um, we, uh, today I've actually been doing laundry, uh, dishes, kind of getting the house back. Um, my mother-in-law did stay at our house when we were gone. I mean, we thanked them. Um, when we were at Costco Sunday, my husband saw some lobster tails and some steak and he's like, I want to treat my mom to, you know, a dinner. Let's call her and see if she can come over. And so they came over and we visited and we talked about the trip and we made them dinner and it was really nice. But I am so thankful that, that she stayed here, y'all. And not only did they just wash the dogs and the bunny and the hamster, they also, I mean, did some things around the house that were broken, that needed to be fixed. We had a cabinet that was broken, a chair that was broken that he fixed, her husband. And then um, we had some scratches on our floors that he fixed. Um, just so many things. The house was clean when we got home. Dishes were done. It was just nothing like coming home to a clean house. She even had made tacos for us. So we had tacos um, for lunch the next day. So we just had to heat them up. Yeah, so I can't thank her enough. So Holly, if you're watching, sometimes I know you watch my Wibbon Chats. I love you and I really do appreciate you. And I know the dogs did too. Um, it was so nice having you know peace of mind that the dogs were at home. Because last time when we boarded them, when we went to Disney, uh, Margo didn't eat very much and she got real skinny because they take their food away and our dogs are kind of used to grazing all the time. And yeah, and always having food out. So yeah, I didn't, I, I'm so glad they got to stay home. They were so happy. They got to sleep in their own bed, you know, all that stuff. So yes. All right, y'all, uh, let me see. I'm gonna let you go because I think it's over an hour now. I apologize. Um, I know I've talked y'all's ear off. I've missed you dearly. So um, again, leave me a comment. Let me know how you guys are doing, what you worked on during this whip and chat. If you're diamond painting, just let me know. And let me know, just catch me up on all the things. I love reading your comments. So yes, be sure and let me know. Um, and if y'all have not subscribed yet, there's a subscribe button down below. If you click on that, it's free. It just lets me know that you like what I'm doing here. And if you wanna see more, go ahead and click on that bell. There's a notification bell right next to the subscribe button. And then you'll be notified of lives and when I post videos and all that good stuff. All right. Okay, y'all. Um, take care. I love you. And I'll see you in more videos this week. Okay. All right. Bye guys.